In this video, we're going to talk about markdown format and how by giving ChatGPT structured input, you can improve the output that you get out of ChatGPT. And so I wanna take you to this website. We'll put a link here along with the video. This is just markdownguide.org, which is a home of markdown format so that you can understand what it does. Basically, it's, it's similar to things like HTML, where you can assign a heading one, heading two, uh, bold text, italicize it, those kinds of things, which is also similar to like a basic Word uh, document editor. So like Microsoft Word, you can assign headings, you can bold, you can do those kinds of things. But let's look at some of the basic syntax of markdown format. Basically, if you put a number sign before text, then the markdown format output is going to be a heading level one. Uh, two number signs is going to be a heading level two. This is what it would look like in HTML. And then this is your rendered output, okay? Um, we see other kinds of ways that you can use markdown. There's some alternative syntax and then uh, some best practices. Now, ChatGPT is automatically generating things using markdown format. And so if you, you probably have seen, or if you haven't already, you will see as you look into this issue more, people will ask ChatGPT or ChatGPT itself will suggest would you like me to put this in a markdown table? And so you can absolutely do that. For those of you who have upgraded to use the paid version of ChatGPT, you can also just ask it to create you a CSV for download, which is one of those amazing tips and tricks. But here you can use markdown format to format the output that ChatGPT gives you. And it's been a help to me. Why would you do this? Why would you use markdown format when you talk to ChatGPT? Why would you say, hey, give me this in markdown format. Well, a lot of times when people use ChatGPT, what they get is just a long string of text, not divided with a lot of headers or those kinds of things. And so when I ask ChatGPT to give me information, I'll typically ask it, put it in markdown format, give me headings, put it in an ordered list. And these are other aspects of markdown format that again, if you're familiar with HTML or other tools, you'll be familiar with Okay, the idea of an ordered list is gonna have numbers. You can also ask for a bulleted list. Uh, and so ChatGPT can structure the output in such a way so that it makes it a lot more readable. When I want to know the definition of a word, frequently I want to know more than just the definition. I might want to know its root uh, and, and its etymology and, and its history and those kinds of things. And so you can create a quick uh, prompt where you ask it, hey, give me this word, but also give me these things. Use headings and markdown format to guide me as the reader. And it's going to instantly, with that context, break apart the response that it gives you and guide you with headings just because you're familiar with markdown format. So if you want to impress your friends with what ChatGPT can really do, give it markdown. Come visit this page at markdownguide.org and just take a quick read through. It doesn't take a whole lot to learn it because at the end of the day, you also don't need to learn it yourself. You just need to know what to tell ChatGPT to do. So you need to be aware of the formatting options that you have, such as ordered lists, bold, italics, those kinds of things. And then you can get ChatGPT to create the right kind of format to get the right kind of structured output.